What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and today we're gonna talk about music. As usual, my channel is a big part of uh, who I am, really, and big part of my channel is music. I'm not just a fursuiter and I'm not just a musician, I am both of these things. And one of the things that I've been kind of exploring and trying to learn more about is how to combine the two. How to combine furries and how to combine music. Because short of just adding barking sounds to all your songs, it's very difficult to combine the visual aspect of like furries with the musical aspect of, well, music. and. Because of that, because furry is such a visual thing, I'm trying to figure out more on how to actually combine the two for my channel. And the more I look up into it, the more I figure out that it's more like those, like, videos where someone's talking about something, like some, I don't know, Joe Rogan thing, and below it is, like, subway surfers or something like that. Something to keep you engaged with the video while the actual informational content is going on. So, me in my fursuit, that's supposed to be visually interesting. You know, I could do this, I could do all of my content, well, most of my content, out of the fursuit. Like, right now, I don't need to be wearing this. It's not important to what I'm saying. However, it is important for retention. If I want people to not click away from the video, where I want them to listen to what I have to say, while also, you know, not distracting themselves by scrolling through Twitter or Instagram or whatever social media is nowadays, I want to be interesting and engaging and, ooh, look at me, look at me, I'm cool to look at. And one of the things that I've found is if you have more furry imagery. So like, for example, maybe the bed behind me, I'd be filling up with plushies. You know, I have the, the tapestries here. Man, which hand is which? I have a tapestry here and one right here. You know, they both have animals on them. And so that's another thing that like is visually just like, oh, hey, you know, I like looking at animals. It makes me excited, it makes me happy. And so all of these things can be combined into making interesting and engaging content. Because I don't have to be a, you know, barking musician. I don't have to howl into a microphone just for it to be furry music. I need to actually be a furry who makes music. They're two separate things, and I think that's super special. And I think that once I can accept that, hey, the fursuit part of what we're doing is different than the, you know, listening part of what we're doing, I think I can combine the two in a much more natural way, where I might not be talking about my fursuit specifically, but regardless of what I'm talking about, the fursuit keeps that engagement. I started filming because I wanted to test out my lighting because a, a lot of this is red. You know, pink, kind of browns, which is like red with l less light or something. I don't know. They're still red kind of tones, warm colors. So behind me, I want to contrast that. So I want cool colors. If you're a blue fursuiter, man, I am envious because you get to use warm lighting in the background and your fursuit ends up being the cool color cuz you always want that contrast. You don't want your you don't want your fursuit to blend in with the background. You don't want your person to blend in with the background. And so you use lighting that complements that in a what do you call it? It's basically inversion. And so you you end up with like a contrasting color so that the two things don't get mixed in. I would have used green, but it makes it look really kind of radioactive and toxic, so I chose cyan because that's the closest thing that isn't green that's opposite of pink. I hope you liked the video, hope you learned a little bit about making furry content, and until next time, thanks so much for watching, bye bye!